Tuesday the 6th of February and we have to say a very happy birthday to one of the uh, great Indian fast bowlers star of the 2007 uh, T20 World Cup and uh, a friend of the show he's actually a corridor cricket legend around these studios Shri San thanks for joining us and a very happy birthday absolutely thank you Kate. thank you really appreciate uh, it's always nice uh, to get good wishes from you and your team thank <laughs> yeah. you well you're where we love you around here how are you how are you celebrating your birthday today uh, I'm um, just back. I was actually in Dubai for a couple of days for an event and now I've just got back today morning to spend it with my family, mom, dad and a few friends here. And um, yeah, that's about it. It's more of a family birthday for me this time and uh, giving some uh, food and, uh, you know, dress for all this, uh, one of the orphanages which we are associated with. So I just got there and I just finished that. So now I'm back in the house now. Well, you're a fit guy, but remember on, on the birthdays, calories don't count. <laughs> That's the lesson. You can enjoy. <laughs> you can you can enjoy yourself today. But uh, while we've got you, we'd love to get your thoughts on this: the India England Test series. Uh, India having a uh, mm-hmm. winning the second test and getting back to and getting back to one one. Absolutely, it is always good. I mean, it's when the going gets tough, the tough kids going. Yes, the wickets uh, on the first uh, test weren't that great, as as we all know our, our, what happens in India. But England played really well, and the second test, yeah, Rahul Bhai and his boys, uh, a huge uh, applause to SSC, no matter what, you know, and Subham Gill also, the way he came back, uh, unbelievable. Uh, you know, that it's an inspirational story for a lot of youngsters who are who going to go and play for the country in future. So, you know, uh, when I, I saw the Under-19 World Cup, which is happening, and uh, one of those youngsters are telling, yes, I look up to Gill, and, uh, you know, it, it's nice when someone is, uh, you know, and they're not really scoring runs and come back and score big for your own team. So it, it inspires a lot of youngsters too. There was a lot of talk about baseball coming into this series. Is baseball real or is this just a, a lot of hype coming out of the UK? <laughs> I think uh, I think it's a lot of hype. I think the way we saw what happened uh, with the first test as well as uh, in the second test, I think Indians were literally uh, using those techniques rather than the English. Uh, thanks to English for introducing it. But I think uh, who is sticking by the basketball is, I think, Indian cricket team. And and away from cricket, you, you've made uh, a lot of compliments, uh, Shri Sant. Um, any uh, any more Bollywood films? Any more acting work coming up in the foreseeable future? I am I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually in fact uh, more into the broadcasting part now and doing commentary. Uh, I'm doing the World Cup and IPL. And uh, yes, uh, there is a Tamil movie which is I'm shooting right now. Uh, should be on flows by October, November because the dates are uh, getting mixed with the game. So I obviously I will prefer the game first. Cricket, and I'm playing few leagues uh, from the 23rd of this month. I'm playing a league in uh, Legends League, which is happening in India. Then we are playing in Lanka, which is a 90 ball tournament from the 7th of March. So yeah, lots in the cards. Even though you're retired, you just keep uh, getting these opportunities from all these big leagues. So I'm grateful. Yeah, it's a great opportunity to obviously stay fit and stay connected to the game and, and have a good time with uh, some, some former teammates. And uh, you are doing a, a great, great performance. We see you on the TV doing a, a, all, all the broadcast. Uh, you're coming into this year's IPL and also the, uh, the T20 tournament. Uh, how do you think it's going to go uh, in America? How do you think the, uh, the crowds will turn out in New York City for Team India? It will be brilliant. I think uh, we just played, I was fortunate to play a tournament called uh, US T10 last year. And the crowd turns up and, uh, you know, wherever we go, you find that Indian fans as well as in West Indies, you know, the Caribbean, uh, Caribbeans are huge cricket fans. They love the sport. They love that enjoyment. Uh, uh, even in 2007 World Cup, if you remember, there were a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, even even though when Indian team was out of the tournament, still there was enough, uh, you know, crowd support to each and everybody. Uh, so it's going to be exciting and especially with U.S., Oh, uh, US people are really looking forward because if you look at the Australian youngsters, New Zealand, there are a lot of youngsters who's actually, uh, you know, moved to uh, US uh, to, you know, represent the US country. And we, we all know 2028 is going to be Olympics and cricket is just growing each and every single day. So it's going to be exciting and I'm very confident it's going to be a successful World Cup. Uh, Whoever wins it, I just keep my fingers crossed that it's a. Uh, T20 World Cup, and I was a part of the first <laughs> World Cup, which we won. It will be great if India can lift the World Cup once again in the US. Well, uh, you, we, we know how much it means to you. Last time we were in the studio, we played you the audio of the wickets of Hayden and Gilchrist, <laughs> and just by the sound of it, you could tell which was which. 
<laughs> well, and, and, yeah, God, it's been kind. I mean, so I always enjoyed playing against the legends because uh, at the end of the day, Australians, uh, we all know Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. I'm from the Amara Peace Academy and Amara Peace Foundation where Dennis Lee, the legend of Australian cricket, taught me the basics. Then I was with Greg Chappell and I was playing for the country. So a lot of Aussies have really helped me, yeah. uh, you know, when it comes to the game. So it was, it was, it was fun. It was, it was nice to play against uh, the best team in the world and defeat them in a the semi-final and enter, enter the finals and then defeat the Pakistan team. Oh, man, it was like uh, icing in the cake. Thank, thank, thank God and uh, thanks to all the Indian fans who for us. Yeah, it was an amazing, amazing performance in South Africa in, in 07. But uh, just before we go, we know that you, you love fast bowlers. This this year's World Cup, co-hosted by the USA and the West Indies. Did, did you see any of the performance of Shamar Joseph, this new West Indian fast bowler? Yes, I was, you know, I was watching. I loved his cricket, so I I respect him uh, to the next level and he's inspired. We were just talking about uh, Gill and I should see Jaiswal, but uh, we know, especially with West Indies cricket, this is one of the best things that could happen, defeating the world champ Australia at home uh, with one single individual performance and that too. Uh, having uh, literally a tough, you know, crushed toe. Uh, you know, he himself said after the uh, match that he might not have even come to the ground. But, uh, uh, you know, that's what the Indies cricket is all about. And I, we saw we even Richard Sir, Brain Lara to the legends uh, celebrating. His AB, everybody across the globe loves West Indies cricket. And it's nice to see Business cricket coming back uh, in in light, but yeah, we did see uh, you know three uh, one day matches which they lost. But I'm very confident the way that they have a great T20 side and a bowler like him being on the side is going to inspire a uh, lot of uh, youngsters as well. Even the West Indies under 19 team is doing it was doing well in the under 19 World Cup, so it's good to see West Indies cricket back on. Yeah. Well, Shri Santh, you've been more than generous with your time uh, on this, your birthday. Hopefully you have a great time with your fam- family and uh, hopefully we'll see you back again in Dubai soon. I appreciate it. Thank you. And lots of love and everybody at uh, uh, the studio and uh, special uh, regards to everybody in Dubai and uh, across the globe who is going to listen to this podcast in future. So thank you very much to the NBA team in your, uh, uh, you know, yeah. office. Shri Sam, thank, thank you. you so much. So uh, there he is, the star, the Indian Test Star, 27 Test Matches, uh, but the star of the World Cup, T20 World Cup in South Africa in 2007. Shri Sam, we wish him a very, very happy birthday.